I'm standing here in a riparian forest in the dark depths of a northern forest. Riparian forests are all around us. Riparian forests have very special qualities. So stay tuned for this episode and we'll talk more about riparian forests. keep using that word riparian. Well, what is a riparian forest anyway? Well, that's a good question, Georgia. Riparian. That has to do with what's next to water. Usually rivers or streams, sometimes lakes. So it's forest that's close to water. Well, so what? Well, a riparian forest is a transition zone between the upland forest and the aquatic system and it brings together some special features that make it super duper diverse and lots of different animals use riparian forests. Uh, okay, let's talk about that a little more. Riparian forests are wonderfully diverse ecosystems where trees provide many benefits for the river system and the surrounding environment. In a riparian forest, trees on a river bank reduce soil erosion and they provide shade that prevents the river from getting too warm. And that's great for fish that need cool water to survive. Well, Georgia, this is a different kind of riparian forest. There are lots of different kinds of riparian forests, very diverse set of systems. But here we've got a creek behind us that's flooding and the flood brings new silt for the riparian forest and that provides nutrients to grow trees and plants better. Well and then I suppose it's great for wildlife too, all those corridors and all those big trees. And bats really love oh. to fly up and down the tree edges for insects, insects in the, in the summertime. Yeah. yeah, so right, just more really interesting features of these riparian forests. Wow. Wow. Wow indeed. Riparian forests are great places to find all kinds of wildlife. For instance, the trees provide great perches for raptors. No, no, not that kind of raptor. Raptors are birds of prey like eagles, osprey, hawks, and owls. They perch in tall trees just waiting to ambush their prey. Georgia, look at that bird's eye view of the river and its riparian zones. Yeah, speaking of birds, I'll bet birds of prey just love this kind of area like eagles and osprey. Yeah well that's because their prey all the little mammals and tweety birds they really like these riparian zones too. You can really see that connection between the water and the woods. In a forested landscape it forms more of a transition zone between the upland forest and the water. In cities or residential areas it provides a similar buffer between houses and a river that runs through the city or the town. And with all the special characteristics, I suppose these oases should, should just be left alone and, and have nature take its course. Hmm. Well, maybe letting nature take its course isn't always the best way to go. For example, we can create wildlife trees with cavities like this that provide nesting places for lots of different animals like squirrels and small songbirds and, and even wood ducks. Hello. Hello, little squirrel. I've come to see you. Are you home? Hello. Hello. Oh, there you are. Okay, Bill, you have convinced me. Riparian forests really are special places. I can't agree with you more, Georgia. They've got all sorts of different features that other forests don't have. Yeah, like great fish habitat and other kinds of wildlife, birds and mammals. And, and you know what? What? They're great places to hang out on a hot summer day. So join us again next time for Believe, Believe It or, or Not. And don't, don't forget for to subscribe to our channel Hit that bell so that you'll see the next episode as soon as it comes out. Mm -hmm.